Welcome back. Georgia's high-stakes Senate runoff is just weeks away now, and Senator Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger Herschel Walker are making their final push to win over those crucial swing voters. NBC News correspondent Shaq Brewster joins us now. So, Shaq, both Senators Warnock's and Herschel Walker's campaigns have released new ads this week. So walk us through their runoff messaging to Georgians right now. Good morning. And yes, we look at those ads because that is how campaigns are spending money to speak directly to voters. And you see from Senator Warnock, his campaign releasing two new ads of this cycle, one of them targeting so-called split ticket voters, those voters who sided with Governor Kemp, the Republican in his race over Stacey Abrams, but either voted for Warnock or just didn't vote, left that line off the ballot uh, in the general election. He has an ad of someone saying uh, that Warnock is someone that... Uh, people, even moderate or Republicans, can agree with and can side with and that he's the better option over the perceived flaws with Herschel Walker. And then Walker's campaign also releasing a new ad trying to soften Walker's image. We know much of the conversation before the general election was focused on the scandals and accusations against Herschel Walker. Well, in this ad, they have essentially a character witness saying that Herschel Walker is someone who has small town values, who is a good person, who has a heart of gold and a heart of servitude. You really see the campaigns trying to get beyond what we saw in the messaging of the general election and try to talk about the individuals as they head into the runoff. And, and Jack, I know you've uh, had a chance to speak to some voters on the ground there. So how are they feeling? What are they thinking going into this runoff? Is there any sort of burnout from yeah. this long midterm season? And you certainly can see how there is that potential for burnout. Not only uh, was there the general election, now there's the runoff election coming up. And we had this same exact situation happen uh, just two years ago with the presidential and then the Senate runoff there for two races. So that was a question that I was asking Democratic voters after a Raphael Warnock event yesterday. Listen to what they said when I asked, are they feeling a little burnt out or fatigued with all this voting? If I have to crawl, see, I got to stay here and I have to walk. But I do absentee. The very first day the voting starts, my ballot is, I walk it in. And I'm just looking forward to December 6th to see the outcome. But I'm already, I'm already sure he's going to win. I'm going to take more than I took the first time. This time around, it's a serious matter. And we need a man that's a man for the people. The common people of Georgia. Now, I'll tell you, Republican voters, they have a challenge as well. This race is no longer one that is going to determine control of the U.S. Senate. We know after the Nevada race was called that Democrats will have control of the chamber. So this would be an added seat if Democrats win. So trying to get Republican voters to care about this race and turn out again, that is also a challenge. You see the uphill battle that both parties are facing with this runoff election. And Shaq, there's a hearing set for this morning in that lawsuit filed by Senator Warnock and the Democratic yeah. Party of Georgia to expand early voting before the runoff. So what do we expect from this? And look, I don't want to overplay what we can see from this 11 a.m. hearing, but this could have the potential of adding an extra early voting day in the state of Georgia. Here's the issue. The lawsuit is being filed because uh, the secretary of state released some guidance saying that on next Saturday, uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, that is not an option for counties to have an early voting day, essentially because it's too close to the holiday. If that is not an early voting day, well, that's the only Saturday on the calendar that would be potentially uh, an early voting day. They said that state law prohibits uh, that day from being uh, early voting, uh, essentially because it's too close to the holiday. But Democrats and Senator Warnock's campaign is saying that's a misinterpretation of the reading of the law. That restriction doesn't apply, in their words, to runoff elections. That's only for regularly scheduled elections. So it's a conflict, potentially, of two different laws. And a judge will hear both sides today, as I mentioned, at around 11 a.m. If the judge sides with Warnock, in his campaign, you can see that extra day of early voting added to some counties. All right, time's ticking down. Shaq, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.